Hey, eighth graders. Um, so today what we're going to be working on with our social issue book club books is um, the idea of power and how power um, affects the relationships between people. Um, not necessarily like superpowers, but having some sort of power over the people that you're around. So um, if you think about some a relationship in your life where there's some issues, if you think hard about it, like what is hard about that relationship? So maybe like somebody thinks that they're controlling you or somebody feels like they can boss you around or you feel like mm, this person's going to do what I want, that kind of thing. So there's going to be a lot of times when there is an imbalance. And what that means is one person is going to have more power over somebody else and a lot of times, sometimes the power will shift also depending on the situation. So that imbalance of power um, where either there's a shift or somebody has more power than others, that oftentimes causes um, relationship troubles, okay? Um, and so when we're trying to understand these issues between characters or as we get further into this unit, issues between groups, like social groups, um, it helps to keep an eye out for the power and looking for like what causes those powers to shift. Okay. Um, so what we're going to work on today, we're going to finish my side of the story. We started that a couple days ago. Um, it gets pretty intense. So I just wanted to give you a warning. Um, and what we're going to do is um, talk about the power struggle in the my side of the story. So really quick, if we're going to review um, who has the power, um, how does this power dynamic affect the relationship and why is this important? So if you think about it, it seems like the younger brother, Will, thinks mom has more power because mom's always the voice of reason, right? Skip seems to have more power over Will um, because Will got excited when he was able to go tell mom, right? So there's this, but then you ask, okay, why is dad, why is it bad when dad opens the door? So that, you know, you have that kind of question too. And then why is this important? Why is it important to focus on um, why these different characters have power? So as we continue to read, I want you to kind of keep that in mind, um, wondering where that power imbalance is and who kind of is the strong force in, in the relationships, okay? Um, so be alert for characters um, that have control or influence. So that is what, when I, when I say power, control, or influence, okay? Um, so we just left off. He opened his, opened the door and it was dead, okay? In order to understand the enormity of the mistake I had made, you have to understand my father. My father was five feet, seven and a half inches tall, stocky, powerfully built, and larger than life, and larger than life in laughter, strength, character, integrity, humor, appetite, wit, intelligence, warmth, curiosity, generosity, magnetism, insight, and rage. Consequently, he was not concerned with the little things in life, such as sibling shenanigans, rivalries, or disputes. His job, as he saw it, was to make us the best human beings we could possibly be, to guide us, love us, and teach us the large laws of honor, courage, honesty, and self-reliance. He was the only man to turn to if you had a severed artery, broken ribs, or any serious disease or financial problems, but he was not the kind of man one would knowingly burst in upon screaming anything less than the house is on fire or somebody stole your car. I knew this, of course, which is why I had run to my mother's room in the first place and why when I saw my father, most of the color drained from my face. My first impulse was to walk backward out of the room, closing the door gently before me as I did so, but I had shifted so suddenly from offensive indignation to defensive fear and astonishment that I felt a little disoriented. For a moment, I considered telling him that I smelled smoke or saw someone stealing his car, but I couldn't lie. I couldn't tell the truth either. In fact, for a moment, I couldn't speak. All right, so dad's pretty intense here, right? We're getting a pretty intense picture of dad. It says he's powerfully built, not concerned with the little things of in life. And then he mentions the word rage. So you can tell dad has a lot of power, right? So think for a second. Now remember, whatever thoughts we come up with, we are able to adjust, right? But think for a second, how does this imbalance of power affect the relationship? So how does it affect Will? If you think about it, it looks like he kind of doesn't, feel great with dad, right? It kind of, he gets anxious. You could see um, he couldn't speak, right? So in fact, it almost kind of messes. He says, um, he had the, like the color drained from his face, right? And so there's like a physical change and he feels not great. So you can tell this is something that he experiences a lot, okay? Um, so 
it's important to see how that power that dad clearly has is affecting Will. It affects his physical well-being. It affects his mental well-being, right? Um, you see there's this big picture of dad and it makes you wonder, okay, why are some of these, there's a lot of words, why are some of these words being used? Um, and then it helps us keep track of their relationship too. And remember, we're going to create theories and test theories and look at power and look at how, how people interact with each other. Um, make sure that you focus on the power too, as you continue to, to in, investigate characters. Okay. What the hell are you doing? My father said, I started to say, I was sitting at my desk, minding my own business when, and I stopped. I stopped because I knew instinctively that scotch tape on my head was not enough, not nearly enough to warrant my wild, unannounced entrance into this room. When what? Nothing. You run in here screaming about something. What happened? I didn't. You didn't what? I didn't know you were here. So what? You knew someone was here. What did Skip do? Skip, uh, I was sitting at my desk and Skip, Skip what? Tell me. This apparently was all my father needed to set the wheels of anger in motion. You came running in here without knocking because Skip put scotch tape on your head? No, I, you don't care that the door was closed. You didn't care that your mother might've been sleeping. I wanted to explain to him that this had been going on for years, that mom and Skip and I had an understanding, but I knew we weren't having a discussion. I knew that he was working himself into a rage and that anything I said would only make it worse. Is this what you do? You run into room screaming? He was on his feet now and advancing toward me. You don't knock? No, yes. At this point, my brother entered the room, saw what was happening, and stood transfixed. Here, my father said, here's what we do is scotch tape. And with that, he pulled the whole wad off my head along with 50 or 60 of my hairs. I knew that he was only a few seconds away from his closing arguments now, and my calculations were just about right. You don't whap, ever whap. Come in here, whap, 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 without knocking. Do you hear me? Silence. Whap, do you hear? At this moment, I heard a wheeze of escaping laughter where my brother was standing and saw him run out of the room. So clearly there's some power imbalance, right? Um, how is power affecting those characters? How is power affecting dad and how is power affecting Will? If you think about it, power, you can tell dad's uh, abusing it, right? He's using his power to physically harm his son. And Will, this is clearly not the first time this happened because Will gets scared and he doesn't speak up and he knows how to, not that this is what he should, but should do, but he knows what to do to make dad kind of deescalate quickly, right? So make sure that when you're being able to explain that, you go back in the text to just talk about like what specific things characters say or do that shows how power issues are affecting them. So like um, right here, I knew that he was only a few seconds away and my calculations were right. And then he went silence. So he knew he wasn't going to talk. Um, you make sure you can go back in the text and prove that. Okay. Um, power issues aren't just going to affect one character. Every single character is affected by power issues. Sometimes more characters will have more power over others, um, but those power issues are going to affect everyone. And usually all of the characters get caught up. Um, so clearly dad has a lot of power, abuses his power, and clearly Will um, seems to oftentimes get, you know, the wrath of his power, right? Um, so make sure that you're paying attention to how all the other characters um, get affected by that abuse of power. So um, thinking for a second, I'm going to have you pause and kind of jot um, what role, think think about how power is going to affect these other relationships, okay? So what role does mom play to Will, who has power with mom and dad, who usually has more power with Skip and Will, and do you notice anything with big, uh, bully victim instances in their relationship? So pause it, kind of jot something down. And just a couple thoughts. I think mom for Will, mom's like Will's safe place. And I think mom knows that she is. And I think that's probably why mom um, is always a safe place. And I could go back here and he even says, um, I forget where it was when he had mentioned that mom, oh, right here, mom and Skip had an understanding, but I knew we weren't having a discussion. So he knew he wasn't even going to mention that, but they always kind of just rely on that, right? So make sure that you are able to back stuff up with, with um, text evidence, looking at who has more power with mom and dad. If mom kind of does things behind dad's back, 
kind of shows that mom might be a little bit of afraid of dad. So maybe dad still has the power. Um, who has more power is Skip and Will. Um, the fact that Skip was willing to laugh, maybe that's why Skip went away. Um, and clearly, who's the bully here, right? All right, so we're going to keep reading and um, continue to think about who has the power and how these this power imbalance can help us with social issues and life lessons. Do you? Yes, Pop. Yes, I hear you. Are you ever going to come in here without knocking again? No, no. Ever? No. Now get out of here. And I got out and heard the door slam behind me. There was not much to do after that but sit at my desk and wonder what had happened. I had been signing my name. Skip put scotch tape on my head. I ran to tell Mom, found Pop, and the lights went out. Where, I wondered, was the justice in that? Obviously, when I burst into my mother's room, I had entered a larger world of justice, a world where screaming, whining, mother dependence, not knocking on closed doors, and startling one's father were serious crimes. That part I understood. The part I didn't understand was the part about my brother, who had started the whole thing by putting scotch tape on my head, hadn't been punished. So in the interest of smaller justice, I went over to his trophy shelf, picked up one of his baseball trophies, and gradually wrestled the little gold-plated athlete off its mount. With a little luck... My brother would want to tell Pop about it. So that tells us a lot, right? Um, I kind of like how he recapped it because it kind of lets you think like he knows that what happened to him wasn't okay. Um, He knows that his brother didn't get in trouble for what he did, and he actually got in trouble for what his brother did. Um, And it kind of gives us more information as to maybe why the two brothers kind of pick at each other. Um, definitely gives us a lot more information, right? So take a second and reflect on what you just, what we just finished. And um, what, what I want to do is take a look at this chart. And this is a good um, organizer. So you don't have to draw the picture that's on it. But what I want you to do is add it to your notebook, because I think this is really going to help us with our discussions of power. Okay, so when we are studying power, here's what we're going to look to. First of all, who has more power and how we know. Okay. Um, how those power dynamics affect character relationships. Okay. So how, cause clearly like if you ask me, Will and dad probably aren't going to have a good relationship. He knows dad's going to be there for him if something terrible happens, but to know dad's not there for the little things, he probably doesn't feel that great about it. Right. Um, same thing. How do the, or why do these power issues feel important? Why is that important in life? And I think that can kind of give us a life lesson of, we need to make sure that we surround ourselves with people that are going to be there for us for the big things and the little things, right? Um, how are the windows into bigger social issues, which is kind of what I just hinted at, and how can they teach us bigger life lessons? So think about what he was talking about, justice and fairness, and um, not necessarily punishing, but like how do we make sure that we are fair, right? And I feel like justice and fairness is, is a big deal. So Looking at all this, this these kind of questions are really going to push your conversations of power and how power can give us insight to characters and people and how relationships work. Okay, so make sure that is in your notebooks. And um, we're going to um, talk about this in class a little bit today. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we have our chart here um, and just add this line about um, analyzing how and why power affects relationships. Um, because relationships are a big thing in our books, in our movies, in life. And um, if we have an understanding of power and who has the power and why that's important, I think that's really going to make a big um, difference. Okay. Um, Now, the final thing for today, I want you to keep reading your social issue books. I am loving how much you guys are into them. It brings me so much joy. Um, And if you finish one, I have a slew more. So I would be glad to continue to recommend titles for you. But as you continue to read, I want you to jot down and we're going to, um, check them, check your notes and make sure that you are jotting down about this. Cause I feel like we're really getting into our books, but don't, don't forget to jot. Okay. Um, so jot down who has the power in your books. Um, how are the imbalances affecting the relationships and how are the imbalances? So when they when somebody has more power over somebody else, how is that affecting the characters? And, um, how are these windows into bigger social issues? So how does this see, how does this show us about what goes on in the world around us and how it's a problem or, or some things are problems in the world around us? Okay. Feel free to email us if you have any questions. Thanks.